I'll go even further. You don't have to face the best to win the World Cup. And I thought you were going to score. Ask a better question. You get a better answer. Oh. Sure. Now, when we get to the quarterfinals, the winner of Pool A plays the runner-up in Pool B. The runner-up in Pool A plays the winner of Pool B. Okay. So literally now we have a situation where our top four ranked teams right now, in order, Ireland, France, South Africa, New Zealand, will play each other in the quarterfinals of a Rugby World Cup, okay? And I think you can debate, are they the top, clearly the top four teams? Maybe, maybe not. Definitely three of them are in that conversation. But we have a situation where two of those teams miss out on the semifinals. On the other side of the pool, as you mentioned earlier in our topic, um, obviously Wales and England, Australia, um, feature on that other side of the draw. And you could probably argue there's a more favourable run in for those teams. Right? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind saying as an England fan, C and D is the right side of the pool. It is far easier than A and B. With no disrespect to the teams in C and D, it is just the side to be on. Do you think they have the process right? Do you think this has thrown up way too, um, I guess, difficult implications that we should not be seeing? Or do you think, let's just see what happens, it makes it more exciting? Oh, there's so many different takes on this, aren't there? I mean, if I was a team like, say, Ireland or Scotland, I, th I think I would be pretty gutted because they've had a couple of stinky draws, to be honest, and this is another one. Um, mm. it, it's a bit of a, a hard cycle to get out of because you're drawing the World Cup very soon after the previous World Cup. So if you did well mm. in that World Cup, the odds of you doing well in the next World Cup are a little bit more. So you might well get drawn again in a favourable position. And, you know, it's quite hard to break. I mean, Wales, they were in top of their pool because they did partly because they did so well in that World Cup. And That's they, right. You've got to say fair play. But then, like I said, it, you know, because it's so soon after the World Cup, you don't really mm. give time for any new world order to establish. Yep. Could they postpone it a bit? I think so. Um, they obviously want to get everything sorted logistically, tickets, travel, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they could delay it a bit just to see what changes after the World Cup. At the end of the day, to win a World Cup, you have to face the best teams, right? So at, at some point, uh, <laughs> this yeah. is one I get. I, I mentioned before. It's like if you draw, let's say France are the best team in the world, and you draw them in the quarterfinals, whoever faces them will come out with the line. You got to face the mm. best to win the World Cup. And you're like, well, yes, but you'd like that to be in the final, honestly. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just lying. I'll go even further. You don't have to face the best to win the World Cup. You could have a favourable draw. So let's say you have an easy-ish quarterfinal. Someone knocks out a favourite in the other quarterfinal. So you play a slightly easier semifinal. And again, one of the favourites creates, a, you know, there's an upset in the other semi-final and you play someone who's not the best in the world. Really, I mean, just imagine a New Zealand Island quarter-final rematch of oh. the tour. Just imagine that. And a France, South Africa, the two most powerful sides in the world just beating each other up. No, I think if you're, if you're Wales, um, Australia, England, you're looking at this quietly saying, quite happy with that, that side of the draw. Yeah, you're saying, right, you guys go and smash the actual living daylights out of each other and then we'll pick yeah. up the pieces of whoever's left. Yeah. You look at the other side, C and D, uh, you know, again, not being disrespectful to sides, but there is the possibility for an easier quarterfinal here. Whoever wins, um, let's say uh, Wales or Australia win Pool C, for argument's sake, they would be happy playing, say, a Japan or an Argentina. I'm not saying that's easy, but compared to the other quarterfinals, Pool C has got quite a lot of that. You want to be top of Pool C. That's all I'm saying. So if Australia say go top of Pool C, I think they're in a great position. Same with Wales.